Now today marks the start of Hurricane Week right here on the Weather Channel. All week we'll take you back to places hit hard by one of Mother Nature's most powerful storms. And we'll show you the progress they've made since then. We start in Ortley Beach, New Jersey, right along the Jersey Shore. That's where we find meteorologist Stephanie Abrams. And Stephanie, you spent a lot of time here following Sandy. Uh, they've made some yeah. progress, but obviously there's still a lot to do. I mean, how long does it take to recover from something like this? You know, I mean, something like this, sometimes it can take five years, even more than that, because it's a matter of getting the money in and rebuilding. And there's a lot to figure out when you have such tremendous devastation. Now, it's obvious right here on the beach, but I want to bring in my colleague, Jim Cantori, because Jim, what I think is interesting about these two storms, when you talk about Sandy, people on the bay side, water inundated their homes. People that are on rivers during these hurricanes don't right. think about the water being pushed up the rivers and inundating them. And in Plaquemines Parish there, they said, oh, we're, we were fine during Katrina, but it all depends on which direction the storm is coming in because they got crushed with Isaac. Yeah, they did. Stephanie, that's exactly the point. Oh, Isaac's going to be weaker than Katrina. All right, so everybody focused on that category one versus category three, which is what, what Katrina came in as. And that's not the thing to focus on. It's to focus on where the storm is coming ashore. Who is going to be to the right of that center? And in this case, it was New Orleans. It was Plaquemines Parish. It was areas that were outside the levee system. And they just absolutely got crushed with this thing. Now, I can remember even being downtown, uh, you know, we took a pretty good beating, too, in terms of the wind and rain. I mean, we had almost 20 inches of rain. But to be able to pump that kind of rainfall out of a city that's below sea level was quite an amazing feat. I mean, I got to tell you, folks, uh, you can bash this system all you want, but the gates, the canals, the pumps, I mean, it, it's meant to keep New Orleans safe uh, during at least the Category 1 storm. We saw that happen. Will that happen in a strong 2, a 3, a 4? I can't tell you that, but it's certainly uh, going to be a pretty good chance uh, that if we get another one that followed a similar track as Isaac, that New Orleans, at least uh, in the areas that are protected by the levee system, will be protected.